Lucille. Hello and good morning. My name is Lexi Polk and I'll be showing you a day in my life in South Korea today. This is my second year teaching and um, both years I've been in Busan at a different school though so we can talk all about um, that process finding a new school and moving etc. Um, but I love Busan in my opinion it's the best place to live in Korea. I'm a 15 minute walk from the beach. There's a gorgeous mountain range right behind me so there's plenty to do and it's so beautiful. I am so excited to show you my life here today. Unfortunately, it is monsoon season, so um, we're gonna have a lot of rain today, but I'm gonna do my best to show you um, all the beautiful sights around. Um, and before we get going, I wanna hear your questions. I can't wait to hear from you guys today. Ask me anything. I'm excited to show you guys my apartment on the next story, but first a word on housing in Korea. So as an English teacher, you can either choose to have the school provided housing where they give you an apartment, you don't have to worry about anything, or you can choose to find your own apartment and receive a housing credit on your paycheck. Last year, when it was my first year in Korea, I decided to take the school housing. And this year when I decided to stay, I wanted to find my own apartment. So I am paying 100 out of pocket for this apartment. Um, just so you know, before I show you, it's small, but it's pretty nice uh, compared to some of the student housing you might get. All right, here she is. We walk in, here's my bathroom. There's no separation between the shower and the rest of the bathroom in Korea. So I have my little shower shoes. Here's my bed. My apartment came furnished, so the bed and the table were here, which is really nice. The island here, I bought myself and appliances. Um, and there's my little kitchen, closet, TV. So in order to find my apartment, I worked with an English speaking realtor that I found on an expat page in Busan that came highly recommended. But if you're moving um, to Korea for the first time, I would really take the student housing. A little bit more about me, I'm 27 years old and in university I actually studied religious studies and opera performance. So teaching is a little bit different, although I would argue it's very similar to the performing world. So when I found my first job in Korea, I found it before I moved. I used an ITA recruiter and they helped place me at a school in Busan. I was then and am still on an E2 visa. The job that I currently have, I found on a Facebook group for English teachers in Busan, which I highly recommend if you're already in Korea, but if you're moving to the country for the first time, I would work with a recruiter so that they can help you through the immigration process. This is so embarrassing for me, but I did not learn Korean before coming here. I arrived when in the pandemic when there was still a 14 day quarantine. So I learned Hangul during that time, the Korean alphabet. And I really recommend you do this before coming. What took the longest for me during all the process was just gathering all the documents. However, I did come over with my partner who you'll meet later today. Um, we came as a couple, so that was a little trickier, I think. And we also came over during the height of the pandemic. So again, we came over during the height of the pandemic and everything was closed in the United States. So we paid a lot of extra money to expedite our documents and to have things done quickly. So I remember it costing like a couple hundred dollars, but I don't think you need to do that anymore. All right, we're walking to work. I start my job at 9 a.m., but I'm gonna go in a little early to show you guys the school and uh, the area. Okay, so I just arrived at school. I'm in our little teacher's area, which is nice. My desk is way in the corner back there, but it's nice to have a space outside of the classroom and away from the kids. So my school is a little unique. It's six floors and the first three are a Korean preschool. Um, the kids mostly just play. They have a little bit of English lessons though. And then the top three floors are the English hagwon. I teach six-year-olds level 1.5. My kids went to the Korean play school last year, so they have a little bit of exposure to English, which means they're at that 1.5 level. Not quite beginner, but not quite ready for that level two yet. So hagwons can be pretty intense. A lot of them um, don't offer a lot of playtime for the kids, but what I love about my new school, I guess not so new anymore, is that it has a ton of playgrounds. It has a rooftop for the kids to play on, and I noticed they're over. This is one of our playgrounds. It reminds me of Chuck E. Cheese in the US. Um, so yeah, they have lots to play. Okay, and here's my little classroom stand up here. I have my 12 kids that sit around me. All right, this is my boyfriend, Jeremy. 
Hey guys, yeah, I work at the school as well. Um, I teach upstairs for six-year-old level two. So, yeah, nice to meet you. All right, school's about to start and kids are arriving for the day. So um, I'm gonna head out and teach and I'll be back to answer more questions and talk to you guys later. I'm alive! Um, the good news is healthcare is so affordable in Korea and so easy. My co-teacher went in with me, we walked in, um, she explained the situation and they hooked me up to an IV, chatted with the doctor, they gave me some meds and the whole experience cost me 46,000 won. I can do the conversion but it's probably like $35 which is wild and that's all it's going to cost me. I'm gonna head home and get some rest, but I had to show you the beach. This is Gwangali Beach, one of the most famous beaches in Busan. You can see Haeyundae over there, which is another famous beach. Tons of expats live here, and it's a big tourist spot for Koreans. You can see the beach is very close here to shops, bars, and restaurants. There's so many cute cafes, so much to do in Gwangali. All right, everyone, I'm back, I'm showered, I'm feeling a little better. Uh, thanks for bearing with me today. I wanted to take you guys to this awesome fire roasted chicken restaurant tonight for dinner, so let me show you what that would have looked like. You should grab some of the rice before it gets too far. Was it hard as a first time teacher? Yes, it was so difficult. And I taught three and four year olds in the first year of English and it was really tricky. I just like wasn't really prepared for what that looked like. Um, this job is just a little sink or swim. After the first few months, um, you'll get the hang of it. You'll grow. You'll learn more about your kids and you'll find your stride and it does get better. So it is difficult to be vegetarian in Korea. Now, I used to be vegan, I'm not anymore, hence the chicken in the last slide, um, but I still don't eat dairy or red meat and it is hard. It's definitely not impossible and I know vegetarian teachers here that get by, but especially in Busan, there's fish in almost everything. So if you're open to eating fish, um, that would help you a lot. Um, it's doable, just difficult. My school gives me all of my curriculum. There are two classes each week that we actually lesson plan for ourselves, but they give us the topic and these classes are really speaking focused. So it's a lot of vocabulary and sentence practice. The rumors are true, bad hagwons do exist. I left my old school because it was a really toxic work environment. All the teachers were overworked. We had very little breaks and they also offered us a really low salary to stay. I knew when I took my first job that I wanted to be abroad for a while. And um, Jeremy and I are still unclear if we're gonna stay in Korea another year, if we're going to go to another country. We have one in mind, um, but I know that I wanna be abroad long-term. Unfortunately, South Korea is one of the countries that does require you to be a native speaker to teach English here. So you have to be a native speaker and be from one of the big seven English speaking countries. You also do need a college degree to teach English. The hiring process actually goes so fast. I like to say it goes slow while you're like getting your certification and gathering documents. And then once you start talking to recruiters, it happens all at once. I think we talked to some recruiters, had interviews, and then had to commit to a job within a week. So 
ITA, you've been so good to me. Thank you so much for joining me on this actually kind of unusual day um, of my life in South Korea. I had so much fun um, answering your questions and talking to people, meeting you guys. Uh, thanks for listening and I would love if you followed me along on Instagram, ask me any questions, my DMs are open. I'd love to talk about living in Korea, uh, teaching English and any questions that I didn't get to answer today. So I hope you all have a great rest of your day or start of your day wherever you are in the world. Bye bye!